cup and keg. Morning. So we got up early this morning, came over here to uh, pick up the yellow submarine. Yep, there she is rolling down the road. Got my buddy Brad towing it back to Havasu. So we are getting ready to put tires on the trailer and wheels and uh, we're going to shorten the back of the trailer up because it doesn't really fit the trailer right and then I think I don't know what do you think McKay should we get it running and take it to the lake might as well we, we got to take a, it get a little tune up before you take it back to the guy yeah I the thing's kind of a fun little boat anyway um yeah Brad's going to drop that off at the house and then uh, we'll get going on it so Stay tuned. Another beautiful day in Havasu. Yellow submarine's back in the yard. We're gonna put some gas in it. See if we can get her fired up. give it a little detail get it cleaned up cousin Paul and Ben Hunter those guys are coming down we're gonna take it out and go do some water skiing and then this thing's headed back to Georgia so we're gonna give it back to the owners um, it's time to deliver it and uh, just reunite it with uh, their family well crazy day might be taking the old yellow submarine out the yellow submarine check this thing out this uh this gel coats kind of popping off like popcorn has been since the day we picked it up it's kind of getting worse now though it's starting to dry out from being under the water for 30 years and i guess that's kind of normal when fiberglass is underwater it hydraulics the stuff and separates it a lot of little bubbles I mean it was pretty bad anyway we clear coated it kind of sealed it but uh, still damaging it but uh, the fiberglass structure is strong it's just the finish coat the color coat and uh, the interior starting to dry out a little it's kind of kind of getting messed up but yeah McKay and I so it doesn't really fit on this trailer this trailer we adjusted it so we're gonna move this forward because it doesn't have any tongue weight basically it's what I'm thinking. there's no no tongue weight on it so we got to tow this thing all the way to Georgia we're gonna slide this back forward we're gonna bring the boat forward and I'll show you back here we're gonna cut probably two feet off the back of this trailer so as you can see this trailer was for a bigger boat so we're gonna move that forward and straighten the back of it up here, fixed tail lights. Cousin Paul says he's got wheels and tires. I've got to go through the wheel bearings and get this thing ready to go to Georgia. And I don't know. It'll probably warm up later today. McKay and I are thinking about maybe taking it to the lake. Get another little hot rod run in on it. And then obviously we'll get this boat fired up and take it out early next week, I think. But yeah, I got a mess going on here. Got uh, Brad's Jeep going on in here. I built this for my buddy Brad. He helps out a lot with the channel. I didn't film any of it because I just don't have uh, time for editing on this much stuff. So I I wished I had an editor that uh, could keep up with you know three videos or four videos a week but I don't have it so until I get there um, there's gonna be a lot of vehicles that maybe you see the vehicle and I built it but 
I just did not film it because I don't have editing for the footage so I try to film the the cool stuff you guys want to see not just everything I do but we put one ton of axles under it's got a LS in it it's got a midnight metalworks transfer case in it ARB air lockers 513 gears and it's going to Brad's now he's gonna finish the wiring he's gonna put the roll cage in and put the tires and bead locks on it and then we'll go test it so maybe we'll film the testing Well, my backup showed up. Morning. <laughs> Dude, what's with the number seven shirt? Uh, sprint car racing. Lucky seven? Lucky number seven. All right. So yeah, McKay, he showed up before he has to head back to work on helicopters. And uh, he's gonna help uh, get this project rolling. It'd be kind of nice to have a little help on this. I don't know what that's like lifting heavy metal and doing all that stuff but uh here we go all righty mckay's got this rigamorandus wincher thing slid forward the the uh strap looks like it's had some sun so we're gonna try something a little different for winching this thing forward okay is uh he's certified in uh, helicopter rigging we're gonna see how he does here with uh, a come along oh, you wish man. you wish man you wish uh, missed it by that much that's probably a better choice anyway. Hey, that's kind of actually working. Maybe I'll grab a jack and jack the back of it up a little. What do you think? Yeah, it's going to need something. Ooh, yeah, it's heavy. We'll put a jack under the back and uh, a block of wood. We need like a couple big blocks of wood or something, okay? What we're gonna do is jack this thing up. Oh, look at my little repair. I did. You guys remember my repair when we uh, had this upside down? It's actually held. And uh, believe it or not, where this thing was in the mud, it's in remarkably good condition. I think the mud kind of pre protected it. It does have kind of a bruise back here. Have to fix that too. It's starting to kind of take shape. I got my final coat on that little hole. It's sealed up. Let's uh, see what we got. Should we go under that thing right there? It's probably the strongest part of the boat. Yep. Is that going to be wide enough or should I get a wider one? Uh, I think we're good. Anyway. Looks like it is. Yeah. Good. Okay, you ready? Oh yeah, we're sliding now. As tall as it'll go. That moved it. <laughs> yeah, now we got to cut that much off of it. So we'll do yeah. some math and kind of figure it out and cut it off. Unbolt those bunks.
Okay, it looks like about 18 inches out of this trailer. You want the exact number? Sure. I was originally marked at 18, you'll see that on the other side. And then I was like, maybe 16 and 3 quarters a better number. All right, so Merlin's splitting hairs. <laughs> Get this thing off, welded back on. Be ready to drive to Georgia. All the way from San Dimas. We're gonna trade it for a load of peaches. We're getting a load of peaches from Georgia. We're giving them a lemon. <laughs> We're getting peaches. <laughs> a good deal, right? Sure, why not? They can make lemonade, we'll make peaches and cream. <laughs> Are you out of gas? No. You just plugged up. You just plug the plugger. Plug the blowhole. That's crazy. There you go. Now what happened? It's been giving me fits all morning. <laughs> That's one way to do her. This thing's rusty. It's hard to work on. It's rusty. I feel for you guys on the East Coast. With all your rusty metal over there. We don't have rusty metal here. We can lay metal out in the yard here for two years and it won't rust. Raw metal. I may do a test just to show you guys. I may grind a piece of raw metal, set it outside, and every I don't know, four episodes, I'll go out and share that piece of metal with you. It does not rust here. Even when it rains, it don't rust. There's no, no real humidity to rust anything. Like, I've had raw metal out here waiting for patina to come. Well, you set it out here for four months and it ain't gonna rain. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It rains about once every two years here. off and then we'll probably deal with the uh, rear bolts after we take it off the trailer at the launch ramp but uh, we're close so we got a little gap here we got to fill but I want to try to straighten that lower beam once we get that lower beam straightened up we'll be ready to uh, put a little piece of metal in there and bring it back together when he's trying to overdo it. I'm like, hey, it doesn't have to fly. Now I'm gonna add, doesn't have to float either. Well, you know. <laughs> doesn't have to fly or float, McKay. Good thing, because this is kind of a gap.
Take her hat and cap him. I don't gotta twist his arm ever to go to the <laughs> lake. Like it could be 20 degrees out and he'd be like, yep, let's go. Your boat or mine. That's pretty much it. I think he was born, uh, he was born like fish, half fish. Anyway, we're gonna head for the lake. We're gonna meet Jimmy. He's gonna be our backup. He's gonna, he's gonna have the GPS coordinates in case the old yellow submarine sinks. And, uh, we're gonna go have some fun. So we'll take you along with us and uh, you can ride on the yellow submarine with us. All righty, so this will be the uh, second time it's been on the water since it was sank because we had it in storage. So. We're gonna float it off the trailer and then we're gonna re-drill those boards. Um, you can probably just float it up on the beach there and I'll just pull back up. All right, so now that we got that off of there, what we need to do is drill these out. Grab that impact, okay? We're gonna drill these out and get these bolts back in here, and then we'll be done with this trailer project. But uh, it turned out pretty good where we cut it off, shortened it up. Well, we've got our life preservers. McKay's never rode in the yellow submarine, so he's in for a treat. We got Jimmy, he's gonna kinda chase us and make sure we don't sink or whatever. And uh, trailer's done, so I was thinking uh, we'd head over to Copper Canyon and uh, we'll take you along. It's kind of cool over there. It's going to be uh, going to be a little bit of an adventure, but it'll be fun. So come along with us. Might jump on. Might have to get on the back. Look at McKay walrusing in here. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, we have made it to Copper Canyon. Pretty freaking awesome. What do you think, Jimmy? What's up? Water pretty nice. It's awesome. Boat's running good. Sounds good. Yeah, it, uh, it's running just as good as it ever did. Perfect. Runs better on cool. this side of the water than it does the other side. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> right? 
great. So we're going to take a little dip here in Copper Canyon. This is the infamous Copper Canyon over here is the ledges everybody jumps off of. And uh, we're just going to enjoy the water for a minute and uh, then we'll cruise back over to Body Beach. To the yellow submarine. The yellow boat that could. That pretty much sums it up for the old yellow submarine. Road easy, only been sunk once. It's only ever been to the bottom of Lake Powell one time. But uh, anyway, hey. Paul should be here next week. I think Hunter's gonna try to water ski behind it. And then, unfortunately, it goes back to the owner in Georgia. So we'll take this back to uh, Brian and Bobby. So we're here with the yellow submarine. Getting ready to pull cousin Paul. Hunter gave up. He wants to tube, so. And uh yeah, it's uh gonna be very interesting. So yeah, they're tight. I told them they're tight. Oh no, they're not. So some visitors showed up. We think of my hat, guys. You like that? The guys from Industrial showed up. Oh yeah. Dude, this is a nice hat. It's warm. It is. They're my favorite hat. I probably should give my wife one. She's gonna be upset. She'll steal this from you me. Like those too. We got Dustin. How are you, Scott? And it's Rhett. Yep. Rhett. R E T. R H E T T. R H E T T. Silent H. Like so. Like, can it just be Rhett? <laughs> it's got to be Rhett or Rhett or. Block K or D nice. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, Rhett. Hey, hey, you're on. Um, Dustin and Scott from Industrial. Oh. The Cummins boat hasn't been on the water in I don't know a year and a half. And Dustin, he. Uh, I'm gonna water ski behind it today. He decided he wanted to come down and water ski behind so it. So we we built this head with Merlin last year, and he hasn't had a whole lot of time to go play with this boat. So right, we, you've been too busy going across the country and to driving Model A. So <laughs> we put the cylinder head on it. We got the motor all running good. Then we bought a new propeller. I have not tested the new propeller. We're going to test that today. Um, so if you want to see how this turns out, I want you to jump over to Industrial Injections uh, YouTube because Rhett here is filming it and uh, Jet Ski Jimmy's coming down to help but we are getting ready to hook onto the boat and take it out. Right. You'll definitely have to go to Industrial's YouTube and check out this episode oh, yeah. where Dustin wakeboards and, and, and tubes and behind this boat. <laughs> it was hilarious. I definitely tubed. I got the tubing down. And industrialinjection.com. And then make diesel a dollar ninety nine again. That's where those shirts come yeah. from. So use use discount code MOSG five <laughs> for a five percent discount on everything on on diesel parts, accessories. You, from us, you, you bet. You want there. one of these motors? They'll powder coat it up just like that. They'll build it for you. Whatever you need. They have full machine shop. 
Cummins and Duramax. Yep. Um, but they make injectors for everything. Check out um, all your fuel needs, anything diesel. So you'll see that on their uh, on their website. 